we are going to compare the bond angles between the OF2 and SF2 molecules. Now notice the surrounding atoms of both the molecules are same which is fluorine in SF2 and fluorine in OF2. So fluorine is common and both oxygen and sulfur have two uh, lone pairs with them because they both belong to the oxygen family. So how are we going to approach this particular problem? Now notice that the electronegativity value of oxygen is greater than sulfur. On the Pauling scale, the value of electronegativity of oxygen is 3.5, whereas for sulfur, it is somewhere around approximately 2.5. So, as oxygen has having higher electronegativity, it will hold these lone pairs much tightly to itself. Whereas for sulfur, it won't be able to hold these two lone pairs, this and this lone pair, very tightly with itself. So, as a result of which, these lone pairs won't have much of a distortion, which means they won't be able to move like this, okay, because oxygen is grabbing them very aggressively. So, what will happen is that there will be less repulsion between, between this bond and this lone pair. They will have much greater separation because oxygen is holding them towards itself. Whereas for sulfur, these lone pairs will have a oscillatory kind of movement. Okay, And when this lone pair comes to, to this side, it will exert a repulsion on this bond because this bond is also made up of electrons which are, elect uh, which are negatively charged whereas these are electrons also and they are negatively charged and you guys know that like charges repel each other. So when this bond comes to here and this bond is here, they will uh, face a repulsion, okay? They will have a repulsion uh, nature, repulsive nature and this bond, this bond, this bond will move towards its, this side whereas this bond will also move towards this side okay these will go like this and the bond angle sf2 will be much lower than the bond angle in of2 so the uh, the bond angle of of2 and sf2 which will be higher the of2 bond angle of2 bond angle will be greater than the bond angle in SF2 because these electrons are not able to exert these these electrons in the lone pair are not able to exert repulsion on these bonds whereas in this case the electrons are easily able to repel the electrons present in these bonds okay so that was this this was the bond angle comparison between OF2 and SF2 thank you very much and I'll see you guys in the next video kindly subscribe if you're finding these videos helpful in your day-to-day -day academic life. Thank you very much.